sto stories from the underbelly of faraway land, where not every story has a happily ever after. Tonight, scandal, crime and gossip, and the weather. I'm Joshua. And I'm Aristelia. Our first story. Who is afraid of the big bad wolf? The most famous villain is huffing and puffing after being arrested today, accused by the three little pigs. of deliberately breathing heavily on their houses until they fell down. A lawyer for, for Mr. Wolf claims hay fever is to blame and that his client is a victim of negative media hype. Here's our reporter, Alex Townsend. Hi, I'm here in faraway jail with the big bad wolf and his lawyer. Mr. Wolf, you have been charged with the destruction of houses. How do you feel about these accusations? I feel so bad. Mr. Wolf, you have been caught impersonating both a grandmother and a sheep. Who is the big bad wolf really? Me. I am the big bad wolf and it is what it is. Mr. Wolf, what do you have to say to the good people of faraway land who think you're nothing more than a dangerous criminal? I am a criminal, but I don't care. Yeah. Now what do you You are sorry for your actions. You are not a dangerous criminal. But I am. I do not get paid enough for this, okay? You know what? You can just have the mic back. Thank you for those thoughts, Mr. DeWolf. Now back to you in the studio. But you taste delicious, though. Mm. Now for the news of escaped kidnapped heroes, Hansel and Gretel. Their story captured the hearts of the nat nation and caused a media frenzy last year. They have been spoken out for the first time about their ordeal in the new book, Blackbirds Ate Our Bread Crumbs, The Hansel and Gretel Story. Hello, I'm Liana, and with me are Hansel and Gretel. You're obviously very rich now, having found all the jewels in the old witch's house. How do you plan on spending all that money? Well, I might get a facial and my toenails done and get Hensel's legs waxed. He's so hairy. I'm going to get a mansion with a bunch of video games and I'm going to get a personal chef. Hensel, you're back in great shape after being fattened up from eating. How do you do it? I did the greatest exercise because I'm the strongest man on earth. What have you learned through this experience? Always work together and never listen to Hensel. Just kidding. Never listen to little old grandmas that give you free burgers. Thank you for your time. Back to you in the studio. Finally, there's a wicked whisper in the woods that all is not well with the marriage of the celebrity couple Beauty and the Beast. After failed plans to start a, a fashion line and poor sales of their album and duets, sources are saying that happy, happily ever after might not last much longer. We go now to our reporter Alex T. Um. I'm here at the beautiful mansion of Beauty and the Beast. Um, 
hello. Um, yours was a classic love story where two opposites fell in love against the odds. How's it going with you two? Well, it's been going great as long as Beastie here does what he's told. Mm, what she said. Now, you're something of a beauty, beauty, and you're a total beast, beast. What's the reality of living with someone who's completely different to you? Well, it's good, as long as we don't do anything together. Mm, what she said. Um, your recent duet album did not how well, and your fashion label has gone bust. What's next for you two lovebirds? Well, Beastie here, he has his own fast food place called the Beastie Burgers. Most of his clients is monsters. And I, <coughs> I own a beauty salon called Beauty Spot. Mm, what she said. Thank you for your time, Beauty and the Beast. Now back to you in the studio. Thanks, Alex T. Now it's time for a faraway, faraway land weather update with Philole, who will have the fairest weather of them all this week. Well, it will be a mix of fair and foul for the faraway kingdom this week. In the north, there will be gumdrops, lollipops, and rainbows for everybody. The sun will shine and birds will sing from your shoulders until Tuesday. The deep dark forest will be deep and dark all week with occasional sunny spells and witchy spells. Moving down the land, the green fields will turn snow white overnight on Wednesday. Wrap up warm if you're living in a house made of sticks, straw or gingerbread because it'll be feet Fifo freezing. Finally, Charles living under bridges in the west might want to climb up, find a want to find a beanstalk to climb up on Friday. Heavy rain will lead to flooding. Otherwise, it's a happy ending to the working week for my stars. Back to the news desk. Thanks for Lole. Finally, tonight long-haired dweller Rapunzel is sewing Sleeping Beauty hair salon. Her stylist fell asleep with the princess under the hairdryer. The result was a haircut so terrible it threatens to ruin Rapunzel's career and reputation. Here's our reporter Liana. Thank you. I'm here outside of the court on the last day of the lawsuit. Here comes Princess Rapunzel and her stylist. How did you react when you saw what happened to your hair? I went, ah! Then I went, ooh, because I fainted. What do you say to the owner of the Sleeping Beauty salon that ruined your hair? I will sue you. I will send all the monkey police after you. I'm going to send vampires to suck your blood. What are you going to do about your hair and can it be fixed? It cannot be fixed. Go to the team, I'll go to my time machine and go back in time to fix it. Thank you for your time, Rapunzel. Back to the studio. That's 
That's all for tonight. Although we have just had a word that the big bad wolf has escaped jail since our interview. He is hungry, angry, and on the prowl. Keep your doors locked. Stay safe from a whole team upon, at once upon a time, at once upon a crime. <laughs>